Yes, good evening, um, councillors and uh, officers. Um, welcome to the uh, ordinary meeting of council for Tuesday, the 18th of May, uh, 2021. And firstly, um, just read the council meeting information. Um, members of the public gallery should note that the council records and publishes council meetings via YouTube to enhance the accessibility of council meetings to the broader Wellington community. These recordings are also archived and may be published on Council's website for viewing by the public or used for publicity or information purposes. At the appropriate times during the meeting, members of the gallery may address the Council, at which time their image, comments or submissions will be recorded. Members of the public who are not in attendance at the Council meeting, but who wish to communicate with Council via the online web form, should lodge their questions or comments early in the meeting to ensure that their submissions can be dealt with at the end of the meeting. Please could gallery visitors and councillors ensure that mobile phones and other electronic devices are turned off or in silent mode for the duration of the meeting. Uh, next, we have the acknowledgement of country. <coughs> We acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land, the Gunai Kurnai people, and pay respects to their elders, past and present. Now the prayer. Almighty God, we ask your blessing upon the Wellington Shire Council, its councillors, officers, staff, and their families. We pray for your guidance in our decisions so that the true good of the Wellington Shire Council may result to the benefit of all residents and community groups. Amen. Um, next is um, apologies, and I don't believe we have any for tonight. Um, now, um, it's now uh, my um, pleasure to, uh, to uh, welcome our new councillor-elect, Council Carmel, Carmel Ripper, and I invite the um, CEO to administer the oath of um, office to Council River. I swear by Almighty God that I will undertake the duties of the officer and councillor in the best interest of the municipal community. I will abide by the Councillor Code of Conduct and uphold the standards of conduct set out in the Councillor Code of Conduct. I will faithfully and impartially carry out and exercise the functions, powers, authorities, discretions vested in me under the Local Government Act 2020 and any other act to the best of my skill and judgment. Congratulations, Councillor Ripper. Yes, congratulations on your re-election, Councillor Ripper, and we welcome you back to join us at the council, the council table. And I would just like to invite you to say a few words, if you, if you like. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Well, I must say, from the beginning, this is tinged with a slight not a slight, a large amount of sadness. However, the late Councillor Hull, I was privileged that he was my mentor and friend. So I believe I was, had a good teacher for a short time, but uh, I will certainly do my best. And it's lovely to be back. It's just like being back on the team. And uh, this is not the first time I've been on the sideline. <laughs> uh, this is the second time. I think I might have created a bit of history. But uh, it's, it's really good to be back and I look forward to devoting my time and energy to the community of the Wellington Shire. No matter what ward, I'm there for everyone. The whole of the 42,000 people with 11,000 square kilometres. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Councillor Ripper. Um, declaration of conflicts of interest. I don't believe there are any this evening. No? Good. 
Um, the confirmation of the minutes of the previous meeting from the 4th of May 2021. Council Wood. Thank you, Mayor. I move that the Council adopt the minutes and resolutions of the Ordinary Council meeting of the 4th of May 2021. Uh, seconded by Councillor Rossetti. Is there any discussion on that uh, motion? No? I'll declare the uh, minutes confirmed and uh, for the adoption of that motion. Nothing, yeah, nothing further. Thank you, Councillor Wood. Um, next, business arising. We haven't uh, got any um, acceptance of late, item, er, late and urgent items. I don't believe there are any, Mr no. CEO. There are no notices of motion. There are no uh, joint petitions or, or rather petitions or joint letters. Um, Invited, invited addresses. Um, I think uh, Councillor Crosley. Thank you, Mayor. I've actually got two exciting acknowledgements and certainly hot off the press and certainly would like to acknowledge and welcome Carmel. You've made history in two ways because it's the first time there's been three women represented in the Wellington Shire Council. Uh, four women. Now that we had three, now we've got four. Sorry. <laughs> This is more than three. One. We've made one up since. May I just say, I happen to be a woman, but I'm part of the team. That's me. Going to cancel. But uh, going to the exciting news, uh, literally hot off the press. Uh, last night was the gala event for the 2021 State Awards of Excellence for the Australian. Hotels Association Victoria, and in amongst a crowd of a thousand guests, there were two lucky winners and deserving winners from the Wellington Shire. So I'd firstly like to acknowledge, drum roll, that <laughs> to the page, that the best um, overall uh, regional hotel was the Criterion Hotel in Sale. Oh, so uh, they were one of, the, one of two of the, the major winners at that event. They also took out the, the category of the best hotel pub style accommodation as well. So big congratulations to them and certainly uh, being a new owner that went into the business, um, uh, Ian and when Ian Larkins, when he, uh, you know, in the midst of COVID, to actually take over that business and pull off a prize like this is, is a laudable uh, achievement. I'd also like to acknowledge that, uh, once again, the Tanamba Hotel was the best pub restaurant uh, regional winner and was acknowledged at that event as well. So we are really privileged, and certainly Tanamba was showing their wares at the Tanamba Food and Wine Festival on Sunday. So congratulations to, to those two winners and to realise that we've got, you know, state class, high class um, mm. food and accommodation in our shire. And congratulations and may they bask in their, their winnings. I think we could give them a clap. <laughs> And I've been uh, searching high and wide to see whether there's been a result because um, we've got another uh, achievement in that the Hayfield Community Resource Centre uh, was, at, well, is a finalist for the, under the Climate Action Section, one of three in the Victorian um, Neighbourhood uh, House 2021 Awards. Uh, they had a luncheon today. The announcement was made. I haven't found the press release, but they were certainly um, they were there amongst the three. So I'm waiting with Beige and Beth to see if it's posted on Facebook. But this was for their My Town microgrid, and certainly it was a great joy to be over there about a month ago when they had the launch of that, and about 100 people turned up uh, to support that. So it's really an innovative program to actually do research to see whether um, it's possible to have a microgrid in small towns to actually um, create a secure supply with uh, emergencies, but also lower the cost and actually be a green energy source for small communities. The other thing, it's not just for Hayfield. The research will be applied uh, across the state and the nation as it's uh, combined with the Federation University and I think it's the University of Sydney as well. So um, 
Great achievement, great innovation, and certainly Hayfield Community Resource Centre has been a leader in this area of uh, green energy since they first uh, started the Green Flag uh, program some um, five, ten years ago now. So congratulations. So hopefully they are a winner, but they are certainly a well-deserving finalist. Thank you very much, uh, Councillor Crosley. And uh, we have uh, another, no, Councillor Wood. Thank you, Mayor. On Monday the 17th of May was the International Day Against Homophobia, Biphobia and Transphobia. And we are reminded there's a still a long way to go. Everyone deserves dignity and equality, no matter who they are or whom they love. Raising the rainbow flag shows Wellington Council, Wellington Council supports the LGBTI plus community. We had a wonderful day on Monday. Looking at that beautiful flag flying against the blue sky made me feel very, very proud. And I know everyone who looked at it would say, good on you, Wellington. I'd like to thank Wendy, who took the photos and uh, made sure that uh, whatever we did was needed for media, and she did a terrific job, and also to thank the, the staff who assisted with putting up the flag. I really feel proud, and I certainly felt proud on Monday to look at that flag, and I'm going to work, work towards the future with a very happy heart. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks very much, um, Councillor Wood. Um, moving on, there are no questions on notice. The Mayor and Council's report item 10.1. Councillor Mark. I move that the Mayor and Councillor's report be noted. Thank you very much. Councillor seconded, Councillor Bai. Is there any opposition to that motion or recommendation? No, I'll declare it carried. Councillor Mark. Thank you, Mayor. It's certainly been a very um, busy month with a lot happening, but um, it's also been a really solemn month for everyone here with the loss of um, Councillor Hull. Um, meetings have continued in person and as well as Zoom, as we can see on the 6th of May with the Wellington Land Supply Charette that I believe was um, very well attended by stakeholders and well conducted by the MESH planners. Um, local Government Waste Forum was also attended and I'd like to congratulate Councillor Taddison who was voted in as Deputy Chair and um, thank you for putting your hand up. Um, Anzac Commemorative Services were also attended by councillors and thank you for, um, for doing that as it's certainly a very important day for everyone. Yarram um, also hosted the Governor, our Honourable Linda Dassault, um, and it was a celebration to, um, for the donation of the HESCO Thank You mural um, that was um, done by HESCO, the artist who has done the other murals within Yarram. It was also very nice to see that the Governor was quite happy to um, meet with locals and um, visit local places, including the Yarram Recreation Reserve, where I believe um, the young netballers had a great time meeting her, as well as the Port Albert Maritime Museum, where um, it certainly ticked the bucket list of some of those um, committee members. Uh, and lastly, um, but not least, the Middle of Everywhere and Prospectus launch was um, a fabulous um, morning and breakfast and um, congratulations um, to all that attended and put that together. It was, um, yeah, it was really good and a successful morning. Thank you. Yes, yeah, thank you, Councillor Mark. Uh, the next, um, next item on the agenda is delegates' reports. I don't believe we have any delegates' reports at this stage. Um, next item. Item 13.1 is the Chief Executive Officer's Report. Councillor Crosley. Thank you. I move that the Chief Executive Officer's Report be received. 
And seconded by Councillor Ma. Is there any opposition to the adoption of that recommendation? No. I'll declare it carried. Councillor Crosley. Yes, thank you. Uh, just to say that obviously the uh, CEO had also attended many of those events that Councillor Ma had referenced, uh, and also you know a range of service clubs, politicians, and uh, partnering shires. Uh, but one thing that caught my eye was the meeting with Lee Kennedy, head of campus at Gippsland Federation Uni, to discuss the memorandum of understanding between Fed Uni, TAFE, Gippsland and the Wellington Shire Council. I think this is a really crucial um, process that we have undertaken and I thank the, um, the CEO for progressing that. I think it is uh, important, especially with the development of uh, our new Greenfields TAFE and for the development of the various new industries and to make sure that there's um, training for our community into the future, not only uh, the new crop of students, but also retraining uh, for changing, uh, changing careers. So I think this is, this is probably a, a first that we're looking at this sort of memorandum with the, with the council and uh, I think it's a, a great step forward. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Cosley. Um, next item is 13.2, is the April 2021 Council Plan Highlights. Councillor Bly. Uh, thanks Mayor. I move that Council receive and note the April 2021 Council Plan Highlights as attached. Councillor Ma seconded. Is there <coughs> any opposition to the adoption of that recommendation? If not, I'll declare it carried. Councillor Bly. Uh, thanks, Mayor. Uh, Councillor Maher and Crosley have gone through a few things on here already, but I thought I'd highlight a few others. Um, downstairs, we had the launch of the vehicle, fast vehicle charger. People might go, why do we have that? They are predicting by the end of 2023 that electric vehicles will come down to be parity with petrol vehicles. And they will actually then start to take over, and by 2050, you will not have a petrol car. They will all be electric. So let's wait and see what actually happens there. And it was good on the, the, the morning that we did that. We had a variety of electric cars downstairs. It was quite amazing. And the amount of charging stations that are all through Victoria now, uh, there are quite a lot. So you can drive from Sale all the way through to Melbourne, even through to Sydney or Canberra with the examples, and you can charge your car as you go. So we now have a fast charging station here, and there's many more that are coming to the ones in Shire. Um, we had the opening of Apex Park in Stratford. So that was with the regional rail project. To me, it was a great project. Um, that bridge uh, was replaced to enable trains to go quicker into Stratford. We had 300 people in attendance. And what they've done to change Apex Park and add uh, the good things to play for children in Apex Park is a great <coughs> result, not only for Stratford, but also the broader community. We also had um, a couple of projects that were finalised. So we, we had the um, uh, completion of the Stratford Rec Reserve change rooms, uh, redevelopment, and we had the completion of Cameron um, Sporting Complex over in Mafra. Both projects are amazing. If you go and uh, participate or look at those projects now, especially the Cameron in Mafra, what a great uh, improvement to a facility that, that everyone in the world can show about to utilise. Uh, we've got a few of these sporting precincts that are getting updated like Stratford in the next couple of years. Um, pop along to Stratford and have a look at what's being done there. Um, we have the Sale, Main Oval and Stevenson's Park up next and they will be redeveloped as well. So great for our sporting community. Uh, and finally, we released some discussion papers on two important things. Um, one being the MAFRA structure plan uh, to get back from our community what they would like uh, MAFRA to look like for the next number of years. Uh, and also the Port of Sale Precinct. We're starting to develop that and get ideas for our community. So it'll be exciting to see what comes out of that. Thank you, Mayor. Yeah, thank you very much, Councillor Bye. Um, next item is item 14.1, the Assembly of Councillors. Councillor Rossetti. Big decisions. Uh, I move that Council note and receive the attached Assembly of Councillor records for the period 26 April 2021 to 9th of May 2021. Thank you, Councillor Rossetti. I'll thank you, seconded Councillor Bye. Is there any opposition to the adoption of that recommendation? If not, I'll declare it carried. <laughs> Pepan? 
<laughs> no. Councillor Rossetti. You have nothing further to say. Thank you, Councillor Rossetti. Um, item 14.2 is the Remuneration Committee minutes. Councillor Crosley. Thank you, Mayor. I move that Council 1 note and receive the minutes from the Remuneration Committee meeting held on the 4th of May 2021 as attached, and 2 endorse the actions from the Remuneration Committee meeting held on the 4th of May 2021 as detailed in the attached minutes. Thank you. I oh, seconded Councillor Bai. Thank you, Councillor Bai. Is there any opposition to the adoption of those recommendations? If not, I'm happy to clear them carried. Councillor Crosley. Uh, just to, to say that the, uh, the committee uh, reviews the expenditure of all councillors and expenses, and just to make sure that it's in compliance and to show good governance, and it's all, all recorded. Um, and Obviously, from those minutes, it was all hunky dory. <laughs> hunky dory. It's a technical term. Maybe. Yeah, um, thank you. Yes, I'm, thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad everything was hunky dory. Thank you, Councillor Crosley. Um, I know we can rely upon you to ensure that it continues. You and Councillor Mackenzie. Um, next, um, the next item is item 15.1, is the um, general manager development and the March 2021 Planning Decisions Report. Thank you, Councillor Ma. I move that Council note the report on recent planning permit trends and planning application determinations between the 1st of March and 31st of March 2021. And that's uh, seconded by Councillor Crosley. Um, is there any opposition to the adoption of that recommendation? No? Then I'm happy to declare it carried. Councillor Ma. That's fine. Okay, thank you, Councillor Ma. Um, next item on the agenda, further gallery and online comments. I don't think we have any gallery comments. So any, any online no, comments? Mayor. Thank you. No, no, that's good. I'd have to read that out then. Um, and uh, next, I think there is a need to go into closed session briefly. Um, Councillor Crosley. Thank you, Mayor. I move that the meeting be closed to the public pursuant to section 66.2 of the Local Government Act 2020 to consider matters under section 66 FB as defined by section 3.1 being F personal information. Thank you. We need a second for that, I think, do we? Yes. Councillor Mackenzie, you've been trying very hard. <laughs> All right. There's no opposition to that recommendation. I'll declare that carried. Thank you.